careful, careful. Uh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. I could drink this every single day for the rest of my life. Colorful houses, so many people that live here that have their own stories, their own experiences. So colorful, so loud, so cool. Everything. We want to see it all. How many times did we say, oh my God, we are in India. We are in India, can you believe it? <laughs> we keep feeling like we want to pinch ourselves. Like, yeah. can you believe that we're in India? This is insane. So after a quick 90 minute flight from Colombo, we have arrived in the first city on our new series, traveling and exploring India. And we couldn't be any more excited right now. This is an absolutely massive country. So much going on. There's so much to check out and the first city obviously that we're starting in is here in Chennai. Wow, very excited. We've checked into our hotel, we changed our clothes, we went and had a nice cup of coffee just to spark ourselves back up awake and now we're ready to go and explore Chennai. Let's go. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we were trying to walk to one of the main roads, but we kind of got lost in between and we walked through one of the most colorful neighborhoods I personally have ever seen. And uh, we pretty much dived right into the culture here. Super amazing. Wow, A little that's... bit like intimidating at first because you kind of feel like you are uh, invading a neighborhood obviously because it always feels like that when you walk into somewhere where you don't know. But very interesting. Super yeah. nice. Very special experience. This is like a really interesting, colorful neighborhood. Now, I'm not really too sure of what the neighborhood itself is called, but right now we're in the area of Chennai called Tripoli Khan, or Tripoli Khan. We're gonna go and check this place out. Um, we took like an Ola, which is kind of similar to Uber, from where we're staying. We're staying in the area of T Nagar, but we took a taxi out towards Marina Beach just to check out and see what's going on. Wow. And uh, this area is just stunning. Have a look at this. Wow, I'm gonna keep this camera kind of away from my face because I want to show you guys just how much is going on. Look at the calf, how cute. So cool. This is incredible. <laughs> wow, day one. Day one, yeah. Day one. Getting a full on experience here. <laughs> yeah, 100%. First day, literally, this is the first few hours for us. Yeah. And this I is think, insane. I think we should get lost a few times. Hello, Hello how are you? <laughs> I think we should get lost a few times. Maybe we can find some really cool neighborhoods here in the area. That oh, would be yeah, amazing. For sure. So cool. Hello. Hi. Hey. People are so, so, so friendly and smiley and happy. Yeah. It's amazing. Wow. I suppose the whole point of this video, guys, as you probably can read in the title, this is our first time in India, so first impressions, wow. It's very overwhelming for the senses, but people are just so, so friendly, smiley and happy. The temperature is pretty similar if you compare it to where we were um, in Sri Lanka, but this place, wow, it's just so, so, so cool. And Chennai has a population, I believe, of 8.6 million, just this city alone. Um, just to put it into perspective, where Luke is from, which is Ireland, uh, has, what, how many people live in Ireland? Around 5 million, just five under million. 5. Yeah, so putting that into perspective, this city has more people, nearly double the amount of people living in it uh, than the entire country of Ireland, so that's amazing. It's crazy. And again, guys, I'm gonna try and show you everything that's not my face as much as possible, just because there's so much going on. Incredible India. There's a cow between two mopeds here. Oh, it's a baby. 
little baby cow. Incredible, wow. Hello. This is crazy. I want to try the fruit so bad. Um, oh, the fruit on the side of the road. But because we just arrived, I'm not too sure um, with the bacteria and the stomach if that's a wise decision at the very beginning of our journey. Maybe uh, like in a week or two, if we are used to, but to the bacteria, I would say we can try the fruit, but not on the first day. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Uh, Hello. You're from? Ireland. Ireland now. It's yeah. a beautiful, cold country. <laughs> and you have been here great. enjoying uh, Chennai. How do yeah. you feel about Chennai? It's beautiful. Okay. It's amazing. Uh, today, just explore. Today okay. is the... <laughs> today is the Republic Day of India. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. So you sure, have you been to the beach? Yeah, we were on the beach earlier. Oh. It's so nice. So you're back Longest beach in Asia. Yeah. Okay, so. Nandri. Nandri. So nice okay. to meet you. Enjoy. Nandri. Thank you. If you want, you want to ride in a motorcycle just for a show. Ah, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Super friendly guy. Yeah, very friendly. Everybody here is, as we're walking past with the camera none of them actually mind at all they're actually waving and smiling and they really want to get involved in into this filming process which to be honest guys we just arrived here we're totally overwhelmed the senses are going india is absolutely intense that's for sure um, but i think we're starting off in the right city yeah. chennai here in the southeast it's very developed it seems to be very modern as well. This uh, neighborhood here actually, is, there's a lot more going on than there is where we're staying in Tinagar. Um, it certainly seems to be a lot busier. Um, in Tinagar as well, you'll notice uh, around the Pondi Bazaar area, there's plenty of malls, like shopping malls. You also have in a different area, the Express Avenue Mall, which we still have to go and check out. Supposedly it's like a mega modern mall. But yeah, guys, India has so much to offer. Chennai has so much to offer. And we are very excited to share that with you all. Enjoying your walk? <laughs> I'm enjoying the walk a lot, but um, look over there. You see all of these super colorful clothes. They're really, really beautiful. I kind of want to uh, go and buy some clothes maybe because yeah. everything is so colorful and I feel like I'm so... I mean, I bought this uh, kind of for India, but I feel so grey in comparison. Maybe I should buy some colorful clothes as well. Look at the traffic, guys. Trying not to get hit by a car. <laughs> wow. And uh, in terms of senses, Luke is absolutely correct. Uh, every single sense that you have will be penetrated walking down one road in India. Uh, it's, it's a lot happening um, for our European minds, I think. But it's super, super beautiful and very kind of like it's, it's positive curiosity, I want to say. Yeah, yeah. We're both kind of like, oh my God, we're in India. Can you believe it? Looking around, smelling the area, seeing the colors talking to people it's just absolutely amazing we keep feeling like we want to pinch ourselves like yeah. can you believe that we're in india this is insane how so many cool. how many times did we say oh my god we are in india we are in india can you believe it <laughs> <laughs> never thought this would i would live to this day to be honest <laughs> yeah it's insane so so cool and as i said we're just beyond excited guys to film an entire travel series here in this absolutely massive and expansive country there's so much to explore food wise culture wise people wise everything we want to see it all something that's very overwhelming here guys as well is the traffic oh my god the roads are pretty crazy have a look at this as well oh my god incredible so colorful wow i'm really wondering if, if, if this um sort of a religious aspect um those flowers if you guys know please let us know in the comments are those flowers sort of uh 
religiously motivated or um, is it because today is Republic Day? It's Republic Day today in India, guys, which means it's the day that the Constitution of India came into power, uh, 26th of January. So very, very busy, very happening. It's also like a national holiday here in India as well. And um, do those flowers, do those flowers have something to do with the Republic Day? Or is it something to do with maybe Hinduism or a specific religion? Both of us are absolutely clueless. So, but yeah, very, very beautiful, very colorful. As is everything here. So colorful, so yeah. loud, so cool. But in a very positive way. Like, very, very positive I way. I mean, it is somewhat overwhelming, but not negatively overwhelming. It's like, yeah. oh my God, it's like a big... I don't know, for me it feels like a big party, yeah. like all of the time. A big permanent party. Yeah. <laughs> she had a, with the flowers, she had a small Ganesha. A Ganesha, yeah. Sitting there I was thinking it had to do with Hinduism, Hinduism. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is just insane, guys. For being our first time in India, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that we went to Sri Lanka first. Just as kind of like, a, I feel like Sri Lanka was just the perfect place to spend a couple of months because obviously population wise, Sri Lanka is a lot less than where, uh, than where we are. India has, it's up there over 1.4 billion people, recently surpassing China even and becoming the most populated country on earth. Did they already Which, surpass or yeah, yeah. is it just projected that it's going to be this year? Oh yeah, they surpassed yeah. them. Nice, so it's I didn't know. Absolutely insane to think that. But um, it's great to be able to start off in Sri Lanka, which is just slightly south of India. A totally, totally different country, entirely different to India. But being able to start off there, which is very, very close by, and then just pop up here super quickly. It was amazing. There is a... Sorry, I'm trying to film them. Uh, there are a lot of eagles here all of a sudden. I don't know what the eagles... Oh! Looks like the eagles together with the crows are attacking the bin. Looks like they're taking stuff out of the bin. That's nice. Interesting to see. The first thing I personally noticed when walking around here in this area is that I really want to walk down every single street just to kind of experience and explore what is in the area because for example look down this street there is so many colorful houses so many people that live here that have their own stories their own experiences that we know absolutely nothing about so um, it's very very cool actually to be here in the area and uh, I would actually like to experience some more. I'm trying to cross the road, but it's not easy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Just when I was able to cross the street, there was a rickshaw driver trying to uh, start driving. So no matter where you are, uh, I feel like the traffic is coming from everywhere, but you just have to keep calm and keep walking, I guess. As long as, long as you keep walking, nothing is going to happen to you and everybody kind of sees you. Uh, what was the guy saying? Yeah. Two mad explorers. Huh? Two mad explorers. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Very nice man that I was just talking to. He was asking us what is our channel name, what's our channel ID. Super, super friendly and very happy to see that we're here exploring tonight. The police over there is saying hello as well. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like everybody is just saying hello and wants to be part of the video, which is very, very nice to see. I didn't think that at all. Usually, especially police don't, oh, especially police don't really want to be filmed, but even the police was waving. So very, very nice, super cute people around here. And uh, yeah, it looks like we might have made our way into a little bit of a more Muslim. Yeah, we've walked past a couple, of, uh, a couple of mosques. Um, I think they're known as mas masjids our mosques but there's plenty going on in this area plenty happening people are very curious about the whole reason why we're here in the first place it's just so nice 
Yeah. Um, there's has, there literally hasn't been one second where I felt like any sort of negative energy. Everybody's super, super smiley, over the top friendly. They want to shake our hands. They want to take pictures with us. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And I, as I always, I keep saying that in every single video, I love when cultures sort of work together and coexist peacefully instead of uh, it was nearly careful careful hey 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 wow you okay i hope he's okay hey. The guy was just backing up into the scooter uh, that Luke is currently holding, but there was a ma an elderly man on the scooter. I hope he's okay. They seem to have a discussion, but he seems physically all right. Okay, everything went okay. Thank God. Nobody got hurt. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I was talking. Oh yeah, cultures coexisting. Uh, so in this area, it looks like uh, all of the cultures and religions are coexisting together. And it's actually very, very nice to see. <laughs> So we just realized that we're only around a five minute walk from the Express Avenue shopping mall and now it is supposedly one of the largest shopping malls. <laughs> one, of the, one of the largest shopping malls in Chennai and the most modern as well. So we're going to go in there and show you guys around. We have not checked this place out so we have no idea what to expect. We'll give you guys our first impression of the modern side of Chennai as well because obviously the area that we walked through just there is very hectic, very condensed. There's lots happening. We saw loads of cows uh, wandering around in the street. It was so incredible to see. Um, absolutely overwhelming as I keep saying for the senses, but so, so, so friendly being able to be here take it all in and now we want to go and explore as well i suppose you could call it the other side um, of chennai not really it's still the same a little bit more of a modern building so let's go and check it out hello hello masala chai you say chai oh, it's chai. you have oh, yeah. two? two thank you we haven't had a chai yet and uh, that's actually the one thing, well, one of the mo many things obviously that I was looking forward to so so much is trying an actual chai because yes. in Europe you always hear about it or you get like these sort of uh, powders that you can mix with milk and uh, it's very cool to see. How does it work? Oh sugar! Sugar, milk. Huh? Wow, sugar, mix. milk. What else goes in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Same. Behind you is a very nice looking man as well. Oh, yeah. First masala chai. Yes, yes. So cool. Yeah, very cool. It's colorful. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> What's that? Ginger? Ginger. Oh, gonna be a spicy tea. Yeah. Spicy tea. And sweet. Spicy and sweet. Cardamom. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Just a little. What is this? Wow. That's tea. That's tea. <laughs> <laughs> If I was to if I was to cook this, this would be already completely burnt and boiled <laughs> <laughs> down. <Yeah. laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. Do you sometimes burn yourself <laughs> with the fire? <laughs> no. <laughs> you get the smell of it now. Yeah. It smells so nice, very sweet. So cool. Sweet wow. and spicy at the same time. Yeah, it smells very deep, like deep flavors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks like I'm talking to a bag of fruit. <laughs> You're talking to a, a bag of uh, green oranges. <laughs> wow. 
goes through a filtration system. Oh! <laughs> Aeration on point. Yeah. Great. Nandri. No. Oh, Nandri. How much? 30. 30. Nandri, it's okay. Thank you. Nandri, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Ready for your first try? I'm, I'm scared that it's gonna be too hot. Oh my god, this is like the elixir of life. <laughs> it's so good, it's very strong. So you get like a very strong black tea taste. Very sugary, so it's strong tea. Very sweet ginger, maybe cinnamon or something as well. So like you get this like sort sort of spice mix in between there. But very, I think this is going to keep us awake for the next two weeks. Oh yeah, that's my assumption. Cheers, guys! Cheers to India! Cheers to a new travel series. Jay Hind. Oh my god! It's absolutely incredible so rich so deep in flavor it's incredible very spicy it has uh, the spices in there as well it tastes a little bit of the cardamom too mm -hmm. i could drink this every single day for the rest of my life and i think i wouldn't be upset about it yeah you could probably good. survive off of it as well there's enough there's enough there's in enough there calories in yeah, there yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good so refreshing and it's perfect as well because it's pretty hot outside today i know i'm wearing a hoodie but it's a great way it's a great refreshment it's a great way to stay awake or ready to go and continue to explore tonight we're gonna go and check out express avenue mall as well oh my god you guys we just drank that tea just finished it there and uh, i have never felt so caffeinated in my entire life even espresso i feel like does not compare to this i feel like i'm like hyper hyper awake and um, for all the westerners that haven't visited India yet um, the stuff that you get in Starbucks as a chai or the powdered chai that you can buy in the stores thank you the, um, the powdered stuff that you can buy in the stores does not compare at all to what this just tasted like so uh, if you ever do get the chance and you visit India make sure to drink a chai <laughs> I could literally live off of this for the rest of my life. We made it, guys. Crossing the road. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Oh, Express Avenue. We arrived. Express right. Avenue Hello. Mall. How are you? Hello. <laughs> wow, everybody's so friendly. It's so nice. It's incredible. It's so cool to see. Express Avenue Mall guys, first time checking this place out. Supposedly a very modern mall, so let's see what it's like. Very interesting to see here in this specific mall. They seem to have a Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, KFC. Over there around the corner is uh, Burger King. I think there is a McDonald's. And then you have sort of local chains as well, which we didn't try out yet. Um, <coughs> sorry, which we definitely have to try out though. And uh, we didn't do that yet, so maybe we're gonna try some place here in the mall out as well. But this mall is absolutely massive. Like it has so many floors as you can see and uh, so many different stores, which is really, really cool to see. It's even more massive and developed than, for example, any shopping mall that's in my home country. I'm from Ireland, Naomi is German. And to be honest, there's no mall that is even remotely like this in my home country. And Ireland is typically viewed as a typical Western developed nation. Now this mall itself blows every mall in Ireland that I've ever visited straight out of the water. This place is insane. Uh, I don't even know how many floors there are, but it's absolutely massive and there is hundreds of things that you can do. There's hundreds of shops. There's a massive cinema here with all of the latest films. There's a huge food court. 
you could literally come in here and go missing for a few hours. It's crazy. Yeah, there are even uh, some stores that I really want, I would really like to have actually in my own home country, such as like American Eagle, Bath and Body Works. Uh, Sephora now is in Germany, uh, but they do have a Sephora around here as well. And uh, a lot of different, really, really cool shops um, obviously, again, there are a lot of local places as well, uh, which we don't know yet, but I'm sure um, that we will get to know them over the next sort of three months that we are going to be in and around India. They even have a cold stone creamery. We don't have that in Germany nope. or in Ireland, so um, that's like a really American ice cream parlor from what I know. And uh, right now it seems to be like there is the... Uh, the band is sort of setting up and uh, testing the audio and everything. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a celebration here in the mall as well for Republic Day here in India. So that's going to be very interesting to see. Check it out. There's a big stage with a, with a band and then obviously you have the India flag down there where a lot of people are taking pictures. Absolutely incredible. Hello! <laughs> what a fantastic experience today was our very very first day in india we just finished up exploring around this incredible modern mall express avenue here in chennai we even got ourselves some indian flag badges as well which was so cool we just saw them sitting around on a table we walked up and then someone came over and pinned them onto us yeah, and they were they very, very us. happy. We were trying to put the flags on ourselves, uh, by ourselves, but it didn't. <laughs> we didn't really manage to do it. So a woman and a man uh, kindly helped us out there to pin these cute flags onto uh, our clothes. And now we kind of feel like we are dressed for the occasion. Yeah, it's perfect. For anybody that's watching that's from India, happy Republic Day. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you had an amazing celebration today and enjoy the holiday. And yeah, this is our first day in India. Both of us are absolutely mind blown. And we're so, so excited to be spending the next few months exploring this incredible country. I couldn't agree more. Both of us are so, so happy with coming here and uh, kind of finding out a little bit more about India, because obviously you hear a lot of India uh, in, for example, in history class and school and so on. But actually being here and, and experiencing it yourself is completely different. For sure. But for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. We'll see you guys in the next Indian adventure. Nandri for watching. Nandri, see you soon. Bye bye. bye. bye.